Good morning YouTube, VampireCon here and today I'm going to be showing you another video on how to get some basically realistic assets on Roblox. This is, so this is going to be one of my upcoming horror games to Roblox and I will be showing you where to get all these assets. Also if you know, um, I can't remember, it was Artblocks who has made some realistic terrain. So. In one of his tweets, he tells us what he actually uses. And so I decided to take a look and I'm going to tell you how to get all these, you know, assets on to Roblox. So, yes. So, let's get started. So, on Google, you go search Quixel. When you do that, it's going to take you to, like, a website. It wouldn't be this, but... What you have to do is, so if I type in Quixel, and we go here, go to Quixel, you have to sign in into your Epic Games account. So you first have to get Epic Games, and I think you may also have to download Unreal Engine 4 on Epic Games, because if you don't, then you're going to be having to pay for this. So... Download Epic Games and get Unreal Engine 4 and then you could get access to You know go to products go to mega scans if you need help with um, getting mega scans You could search another video on YouTube But you just have to log in with your Epic Games account and you should get this option for free So now that is out of the way Let's get on to here. So at mega scans now you're going to go into 3D assets. And as you can see, this is where like the terrain that I think I'm not exactly sure but art art blocks uses. And you can see like on the floor there's rocks and you could basically use all of this. So for my game I'm going to go to wood and this I think I'll go tools. So like Actually no, let we can if you want to you know go to you no know, three D and go to assembly to get all this stuff. But let's go to tools and I like this tool. So when you go here, you go go into download section and you go to you want the resolution to be four K or two K. I go for two K mainly because I know that Roblox like it's sometimes there's 8k but Roblox can't accept that and since Roblox doesn't have PBR, PBR textures it's not going to look that great exactly but it should be fine so when we're looking at here so these are actually just made the bookshelves are just made with no like wooden um planks or blocks and here are the bottles and all that and the, even the table, so what's great about Quixel is that you know, since the model's already made and there's it's already been textured, so you could see it, like sometimes it would just be flat, but this there will be ex like it'll be a bit extended and all that. So it's not just textures like put on a model, the model's actually shaped and all of that. So anyway, so what you're going to do is so you, once you downloaded the resolution to be 2k you're going to click download and it should be in generally it should be a, like a fbx which you know is a roblox you know thing to import models so let's just go in here and so this is my game is going to be called twisted tales so we're going to go assets i'm going to put this in word and you know wait for it to no, download and then put it here and extract the files okay, now I have to find it I think it's this I'm just got I recommend naming renaming it so I just name it with a mallet and then you go open so so here are the models so the reason why there's a lot of models is because it's actually like they take in account of like how high poly the model is is so LOD zero is meaning the like highest poly sometimes it would go into Roblox 
like sometimes the highest is around 10,000, which is what Roblox is, accepts. But if it isn't, you could go down and this will be the lowest poly you can get with a model saw keeping this shape. So we're going to just add a um, mesh part here. And we're going to click the folder and we're going to go to our wooden mallet. And sometimes when the model appears, it will say inappropriate name. But let's see, we'll go for that. So the highest poly one would work. So we just go yes and then we wait. And now it has appeared and we just bring it up. Also, a tip with scaling if you hold shift and then you click and then you just drag it down, they actually does size the whole thing okay so now that we have our mallet then what about texture so I do have a um, account called I think texture dot is basically where I just upload all my textures so we're going to go browse we're going to go to back to word and go wood mallet and we just go click on you know, the top which is albedo I think it should be that and then we're just going to rename it to wooden mallet text or texture. It doesn't matter exactly. And I spelled wooden one on time a professional speller. But yeah, then we wait for it to know Is that you know upload the decal. And then we basically have to wait for the model to well, I mean the texture to load. But in the meantime, what we could actually do is copy the thing and then add it to texture ID. And then like it wouldn't appear because like the model hasn't like fully loaded. But let's take these for example. Like so with this, I'll show you the texture file, which is here. Small word container. That's why I named it. So when we download the 2K, it basically fits perfectly and all of that and the mod the texture is completely suited for the model so you don't have to do any unwrapping and all of that and when roblox finally comes out with pbr i'm sure that these models will look like 10 times better so now that's basically how we go on about realistic you no know, assets for roblox so I'm going to continue making games. I'm going. To, I'm also going to soon do a video, same of using Quixel like Mega Scans, on how we do the you know assembly, the basically terrain. Because like that was I think art blocks. I I'll be honest. I don't. I can't remember the name. But yeah. So no. Soon we're going to be doing tutorials on terrain. We're going to be using the assembly like part and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and see you all next time see ya